The four step process I'm going over in this video is exactly what allowed Graham to do over $18,000 in his first month as a remote closer. It's also the same process that allowed Naveen to hit $30,000 in 30 days while still working a full-time job and the same four steps that Charles used to hit 98,000 in commissions in a single month. We're gonna be dropping a ton of info in this video so make sure to grab a pen and paper, sit back, relax, and let's jump in. Welcome to the Remote Closing Academy. All right, what's going on? Aaron here back once again from the Remote Closing Academy channel. And I'm just gonna go and call out the elephant in the room here. You may be thinking, okay, do I need to be like someone special and have a ton of experience to see success with remote closing? And the answer is no, but you might be asking like, why? Like that doesn't make any sense. But the majority of people that come into remote closing with really bad traditional sales habits, they tend to not really see as much success. So it's, it's actually a good thing if you don't have experience. Now we'll touch on that a little bit later, but let's just go ahead and jump into the steps here. So step number one is gonna be role selection. So if you're brand new here to the channel, I'm just gonna give you a really quick breakdown of the two main roles that you're gonna find in the high ticket space. Number one, you have appointment setter, and then you have closer, like the high ticket remote closer that we're always talking about. Now we have full videos explaining both of these in detail up on the screen. You can go and check that out after you check out this one. But really all you need to know for this video is the appointment setter is that you're going to be the one taking the initial phone calls of someone that is interested in a product on the front end. So on the screen, you can see that most offers usually start with some sort of advertisement that goes to a video that that person is going to watch. So let's say, for example, you're working with a company that sells a weight loss course or a weight loss mentorship. Now that video might be something like, you know, best workout to lose weight fast. Because that person is already putting their information for something that they already want, they are a really easy person to convert into appointment because they already want that end result and they're doing their initial research for that. So all you have to do is have a quick conversation with them over DM, you know, on Instagram or through email, or, you know, some of the best performing ones, they'll actually jump on a call with them and they'll set the appointment for the high ticket closer. Now, of course, the closer is the second role and they are essentially the one that gets them over the finish line into the product or to the course. Now, again, I want to emphasize this point is because that person has already opted in their information, they've already watched a video and they've talked to the appointment setter, your job as a remote closer becomes so much simpler than like traditional sales. Because for example, if you're knocking on doors and trying to sell someone solar, they don't even know that they have a problem, much less want the solution that you're trying to solve. So it just makes your life a million times easier. Now, there are a ton of differences between the appointment setters and the closers and their roles. But the biggest thing that people are always wondering about is, you know, how much money can I make with one versus the other? Well, you're going to make more as a remote closer because you're more involved. You actually have to get on Zoom calls with that person, right? You have to build a connection and build a rapport. So all that being said, if you're looking for the more money to make in the situation, you're going to want to go with a remote closer. Now, because I know you're a good student and you're following along with me on your sheet of paper, you probably decided if you want to go for the setter or the closer. So let's jump into step number two, which is calibrate. Now, at this point is where you're going to want to jump in and actually start learning the skill of sales. So if you want to check out the video that goes just super in depth on some of the exact scripts that you use, there's actually a live role play that I do where, again, you can see the act exact scripts, how I communicate with a person. You can check out the video on screen after this one. But I want to break down a very important mindset shift that needs to be made for most people that generally have like a negative view on sales. And this is what it is. You need to fully understand why we're here selling in the first place. If I was to ask you the question of, you know, what is the reason of sales? And you say to make money, it, that, that's wrong. <laughs> the reason we're doing this is to help the other person on the other end and help the customer, right? Help the client. Because when you do that and you get them to a point where they want to be, that is as a byproduct going to help you make more money. So again, the goal here is to ask the right questions on these sales calls to figure out what the other person actually wants, what they desire, and how the thing that you're selling can actually get them to where they want to be. How your thing is the bridge to get there. Back to the weight loss instance. At a really high level, yeah, you're probably going to be giving that person some sort of workouts and, you know, a meal plan that they have to follow in the course that they purchase. But more importantly than that, you're selling the end results, right? You're selling them on the ability to live longer, to be able to run around with their kids, to be able to live a more fulfilling life, have more confidence, whatever they tell you on those sales calls. And if you can fully just tap into this concept alone and understand sales is all about helping other people, it'll make your job as a setter and a closer that much easier. So at this point, you've decided, okay, I'm going to be an appointment setter or a closer. And you have some basics down. And here, I want to emphasize this point. I don't want you guys to get too deep into the mindset of I need to know every single thing about sales. Because as we talked about earlier, and a couple other podcast interviews that you've seen on this channel is your experience 
almost doesn't matter at all. As long as you can have a little bit of charisma, you can show up in the right way, you're gonna be in a good spot. Now let's assume all those things to be true. Now it's just time to find a position. So once you familiarize yourself with some scripts and understand the concept that I just talked about, step number three is jumping into sourcing. So I'm gonna be honest here. This might be the easiest part. Like there are thousands, I mean, if not tens of thousands of companies that are out there actively looking for setters and closers. We've done a ton of tests in the past and other videos. So actually, Jeff, can you just splice over to the video of the full breakdown of me doing some of the search ins and showing these people how easy it is? Okay, so I'm gonna make this so, so easy for you guys and show you this way that you can find over 100,000 companies that are looking for your help as a high ticket remote closer or an appointment setter. So we're going to be using indeed.com. We have other videos going more in depth about this. I'm going to go through this really quick, but indeed.com is the site we're going to use. Make a free account and you're just going to go up to what and search up high ticket closer. And check this out, guys. I did this search a little bit earlier this week, but check this out. So first thing that pops up here, Jeff, you can zoom on this $4,500 to $15,000 a month looking to work here. Uh, next one here from $180,000 a year in a remote sales position, uh, 20 to $45,000 a month, 25 to $5,000 a month. I mean, you know, estimated 54,000 to 69,000 a year. Obviously that one's not as high, but you can just see out of doing one simple search, four to five opportunities that are willing to pay you more than $5,000 a month. And I did that in what, in a matter of five seconds by opening up the site. So that's the first way you can do it. We're going to talk about how to apply the things to say, you know, the steps to do that here after this part, I'm just showing how to find the opportunity. And next you're going to go to a linkedin.com. We're going to use, it's called LinkedIn jobs. So if you make an account on LinkedIn, come up here to jobs. When you go in here, it's going to be basically the same process. Um, up in the search part, you're going to search up high ticket closer. I already did it. And you can see here that there is 29,000 results, 29,000 companies that are looking for someone like you to come in and be a high ticket closer. So if we're just searching down on here again, 7,000 to 12,000 a month, um, you, you guys get the point. I'm not going to go through every single one here, but again, if you just take a couple minutes, right? If you really want to get a position where you're making 10, 15, $20,000 a month, plus, you know, one of those said 45,000 a month, then just put in a couple minutes a day and use this next process. I'm about to show you in terms of creating your application. All right. Thank you, Jeff. That makes my life a million times easier and it gives the people what they want. So now that you have at least a couple companies that you can put into a spreadsheet that you're going to actively reach out to, I want you to pull up your phone. I want you to do a voice or a video message saying this exact script. Hey, what's going on, John? It's Aaron here. Just saw your post in the ClickFunnels group. I don't want to reach out and say just personally, hello great to virtually meet you and i saw your post about how you're looking for an appointment setter or a closer so i'd love to have a really quick conversation about how we could potentially partner up together and i could just jump into the seat and help you bring on more sales without you having to worry about it so if you have any questions let me know would love to connect sometime soon so again it doesn't have to be that specifically but just if you notice the the tone of my voice i smile i'm showing up on camera i have somewhat of a nice shirt on. <laughs> it's going to grab their attention. It's going to be so much better than a copy and paste message that a ton of other people are doing and not really spending a ton of time on. Now, if you followed that exactly of sending the voice message and doing that whole thing, this is exactly what landed Haley on Tony Robbins team and what helped Amanda get placed with Dean Graziosi. So some heavy hitters in the space. Now, last but not least, we're talking about step number four, which is ramp. Now, here's where the rubber meets the road. You're now on the offer and it is imperative that for you to stay there and make money, you gotta actually perform and do well on these sales calls. But Aaron, how do I make sure that I'm successful? Well, actually it might not have anything to do with me or this channel or remote closing in general, but more about the skill of, write this down, being coachable. The secret of the game here, guys, is to never, and I mean never, write that in big letters on your paper, never stop asking for feedback. Out of the dozens of interviews I've done with people on podcasts that have, are making 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, hundred thousand dollars a month as a remote closer is they never stop striving to be the absolute best. And that comes with a couple different things more often than not. And I'd say this is almost guaranteed for an offer to be successful is they have daily sales meetings with the owners and the sales team, sales team leader. And here is where you have the chance to ask a million questions and get the clarity on anything that you need to fix. So within the sales process, within the offer, the way you're saying things, another thing you're going to want to do is record every single sales call, every single one of your calls you want to not only record them, but you want to ask for feedback, send them into your sales manager, the person that is really going through and, and quality controlling your calls. And you also want to listen back to them yourself. I use this analogy all the time. When you think about some of the greatest, like Michael Jordan, do you think the only time he actually was asking for feedback and getting coached was when he was in a game? 
Absolutely not. When he wasn't on the court, he was watching back game tape, which is literally exactly what you'd be doing. Watching back your game tape of the games, right, or the sales calls that you took. Because when you listen back to your own sales calls, and more importantly, go to other people and get feedback and take that feedback and implement that is going to make you a million times better because other people might be able to see your blind spots. Now, when I tell you this is the surefire way to grow extremely quickly and see massive success with this industry, I'm I'm not kidding you guys. Like, do it. <laughs> do it yesterday. And of course, once you make it big, you got to come back to this channel. Let me know in the comments. Reach out to me as well. And I'd love to help out in any way that I can. Uh, we read all the comments. So if you ever have any questions, then just let us know down below. Now, with all that being said, those are the four steps that everyone in the Remote Closing Academy are using to see success within the industry. Now, you might be even stuck on point number one, which was appointment setter versus closer, which is best for you. You can actually click the video on screen. It's a full on breakdown that goes over the differences between the two, the pros and the cons, talks about how much money you can make on each of those. So make sure to click on that video if you're stuck on point number one.